In this video, you'll see how to participate in a Collaborate session when using Blackboard. Once you're in your course in Blackboard, click on Tools. Next, click on Blackboard Collaborate. You'll see a listing of all of the Collaborate sessions that have been scheduled, so click on the title of the Collaborate session you'd like to join. Collaborate uses Java, so depending on your computer and browser, you may be asked a series of questions before you are entered into the session. I'll click OK here, and Java will begin. It'll take a few minutes for your computer to gain access to the Collaborate session. If you don't have a compatible version of Java, you'll get an error message, and you'll need to go to the Java website and download it. Once you're in a Collaborate session, one of the first steps you should take is to check your audio settings. To do this, go to Tools, Audio, and then Audio Setup Wizard. It will guide you through testing your speakers and microphone if you have one. It's in the main room that you can see all of the people who are in the Collaborate session with you. The moderator is typically your instructor, and the other participants are listed below. Let's look at the different features available to you in Collaborate. If you'd like to temporarily display a smiley face or a confused face next to your name, you can click on the icons here. If you're going to step out of the room for a minute, you can click on the step away icon here, and it says away next to your name. If you'd like to get the moderator's attention, you can click on the raise hand icon, and it will beep, and your hand will appear next to your name. Sometimes your instructor will ask you some questions, and you can respond with the poll by clicking yes, and a green check next, appears next to your name, or you can click no, and you get a red X next to your name. You may have other options available to you, depending upon the permissions your instructor has granted to students. If you've been given chat permission, then you can type in the chat box, and your message will appear for everybody in the class to see. If you've been given talk privileges, you can click on the talk icon, and when you do, everybody in the class will be able to hear what you say. If you've been given video privileges, then you can click here to see a preview of the video first, and then you can click on the word video, and everybody in the class will be able to see. Your instructor may have also turned on permission for you to use the whiteboard. If you have that option, you'll see this toolbar. These options include being able to use the pencil tool to draw on the whiteboard, or you can use the text tool and you can type text on the whiteboard. Your instructor has the option of recording a Collaborate session. In that case, you can review the recording later at any time it's convenient for you. To be able to view the recording, what you do is go back into Tools, back into Blackboard Collaborate, and then at the top one of your choices is Recordings. I'll click on Recording, and you might have to adjust the start and the end date to be able to find the date that the Collaborate session was recorded. And then you just click on the title of the Collaborate session and the recording will open and you'll be able to watch it. These are the basics for using Collaborate. If you'd like additional information and to check to see if you have the software needed to run Collaborate, go to support.blackboardcollaborate.com.